Where the hell am I? We're here in the heartland, the home of the automobile industry, and also the home of the 2024 NFL Draft, Detroit, Michigan. Wait, that, that draft's in less than 24 hours. Tomorrow morning, meeting with no other than Kenyon Mitchell, projected first round cornerback out of Toledo, Ohio, go Rockets. And we're gonna be doing a little sit down with him. But before all that, we gotta find what the best wings are in downtown Detroit. So we're currently waiting on the Uber and the time estimation just keeps going up. It started at seven, then it went to 10, then it went to 15, and now this guy's doing donuts in the parking lot. <laughs> Turns out we're not as close to downtown as we thought we were. Kitchen's closed. Kitchen's closed and, uh, you know, it's only 10, 15, we have it in dinner. My bad, my bad. So I made it somewhere. Sweetwater, this place is called. Sweetwater Tavern, that's right. You walk in, you see on the menu, it's like this separate paragraph of like wings. That's everything they've been voted for as award-winning wings. And these wings are about to be something. About to find out. So I, I looked up, you know, from Williston, Florida, right? Small town. Really cool to see someone who's come from such a small dot on a big ocean, right? And, and then from there, you were able to stand out and make it to a group of five school, and then from there, make it to here, right? And so I think that one theme there, it seems like, is, is change. Uh, over the last couple of months, I've been adjusting a lot from training up for a lot of the, to going to the senior bowl, to going to the come line and going back to Toledo. So I'll just say the biggest thing, just adjusting, uh, making my time effortless, mm -hmm. and just adjusting for it. What was your training process for the combine like? I was kind of like Toledo, for real. We kind of like had the same kind of platform and stuff like that. We was on the same workout. So yep. like I said, I adjusted very well down there. Victory in Souls proven to return energy back to athletes. And so that's a different feeling, right? In your, in your cleats. And so at your combine, 4.33 40 yard dash. Did you feel like Victory in Souls helped your sprint speed? And two, when running, what did you feel with Victory in Souls in your cleats? I mean, I feel like it helped us a lot. And then when I was running, I just felt light. Felt like I was flying uh, faster than ever. So, I mean, just running at 40 and getting that time, I, feel, I felt really good about it. Through my college career, I mean, I had foot problems, turf toes and stuff like that. So, I just feel better. I feel protected. I feel lighter. I feel faster. How do you plan to utilize victory at the next level? I, I plan to use them in everything. Just uh, gain cleats, practice cleats, just all around, just, just taking care of my feet and just being smart with this, so I plan to use it a lot. What would you say to people who are hesitant to try the insoles for the first time? I mean, trial, I mean, give them a shot. Uh, it'll probably change your life, probably make you faster, make you fly more, so yeah, just try. As an athlete, I'm just always just trying to find an edge, no matter what, so trying to be better. What advice would you have for a player that wants to get to the next level? Persevere, be consistent, and never lose your confidence. Love it. Awesome interview. You can tell he just works his butt off. Oh, this guy's built different. He's hungry. He's an awesome guy. Honestly, whoever gets him, man, is getting a dog. He's ready to work. Said he definitely felt like he was running faster in the, in the insoles. It was really cool to, to hear. And now I'm excited. He's going to be in for a really cool night.